So one strategy I've heard you use at Loom is actually uh, creating your own term for marketing purposes, has a little SEO background behind it. Heard of people like Brian Dean with the skyscraper technique and things like that. It sounds like you similarly had success at Loom. Could you talk to that and 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 what you've kind of made made popular so far? Yeah, exactly. So we've uh, we've coined a term called slack explaining, which uh, we're leaning into is uh, something that is when you tend to want to over describe something in text, you use too many exclamation marks, you use like way too many emojis to convey tone across in text. It's kind of hard to convey that tone. And so we've coined this term called slack explaining. It came out in one of our uh, modern work reports that we came out with and it got picked up by a bunch of news outlets and not something that we anticipated doing. I think it's kind of hard to coin this, like to coin a term that takes off uh, like on purpose. I think a lot of our success of it just kind of came out of like a natural report that we generated through like a bunch of original content research. Okay. And so we we coined this term. It got crazy amounts of, of pickup. And so like rather than, than having other news outlets being able to capitalize on this, then we kind of wanted to come out with our own bit of content too. And so we wrote a blog post about Slack explaining to kind of like really narrow in on like what that is because in the context of the article, it was just like a small section, but it's what resonated the most with journalists. And so our like long-term SEO play is obviously to rank for that term and to own it. And then when other people reference it, it'll be more immediately tied back to us and our blog post that links out to the gated asset as well, which will hopefully lead to content downloads and to help our sales team too. And so we kind of lucked into it a little bit, but we're also (laughs) leaning into it as well of like, how can we take this thing as far as it'll go? Do you think it has to be organic? I mean, you see Brian Dean out there who's like, I mean, I think he's done more than skyscraper. I heard him say reverse outreach recently. (laughs) I don't know if that's sticking or not, but people try to, I mean, inbound marketing was a thing by HubSpot sort of stuck. I know some people hated it for a while. Um, yeah, do you think that like you can be deliberate about that? Or? I, I think you can. Um, I think the best ones- You prefer it probably. probably yeah. <laughs> for sure. If you, yeah. if you can do it deliberately, I think that's great. Yeah. Um, I think the best ones sometimes happen by accident too. Like we didn't go into it with the intention of coining this thing that would take off in a way, but we we found that it did. And so rather than I think do nothing, then we're trying to just like capitalize on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's great in any like hyper competitive space. I mean, the space that Loom is in, uh, like async video communication is super competitive. And so the more we can do to like differentiate ourselves and kind of like start owning the vocabulary in that space, I think also kind of gives us a competitive advantage too. And it's, uh, it's like a strong linkable asset play in a way to like just be thoughtful about a coin term. And if, if you have some kind of, you can't be small Joe and do that, right? Yeah. You have to have some kind of brand to do it. But I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, don't, I know some of the things you would do. I, I want to say on your blog, it was like uh, the sticky post was on that concept. It's like yeah. that part of the thought process, not just create it, but put it front and center so people kind of identify with it? Yeah, definitely. There's definitely a kind of like repetitiveness to it of like we want, we came out with it in a piece of content. We have a blog about it now. It's been like referenced a lot. And so I think like the more we can reference it and use it and kind of like get it out in conversation, kind of have that like repetitive aspect to it to help it stick. I mean, well, we coined it. So we're going to like push (laughs) it as much as we can and just see all the success that we can get out of it. Are there any, uh, were there any implications with the Slack name in there? Or I guess... Yeah, you, you know, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing that's come up so yeah. far. Um, Slack has been like great partners with us so far. I think. Um, so you're not really competitive. No, not I, no, not not in, not in that sense. But um, yeah, I mean, like we're still in the communication space, and so uh, you know, our our take is, you know, async video is is the future, and that's kind of what we're our product is like leaning into, especially in, in the workplace. And nice. so, uh, the more we can differentiate ourselves, I think, the better. Awesome. So I mean, it feels like the takeaway is. If you start feeling pickup of a certain term within your own marketing, really lean into it, make it featured, potentially think thoughtfully about it. If you have your own ideas for, for coining them, probably will be a little more successful if you do it organically, but it sounds like a great strategy for people to consider for sure. Yeah, exactly. I think it's just like lean, once you see success, just like lean into it and try and take it as far as you can go. Mm-hmm.